Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to make a video on my recent purchase. These are uh, weight stands to help support your weights, your heavy weights, so you don't have to have a spotter, especially when you're doing bench presses, so you don't drop them on you. They're made by Titan Fitness. Here's a picture of them. Cost about $80 ordered them through Walmart so let's open them up here and here they are all the components are wrapped in bubble bubble wrap it looks like these are pretty heavy construction steel. These go like this. Very nice and stable. With lots of adjustment holes. Those must be the feet for them. The other leg. Okay, these are the bases. And they have a wide spread on them so they don't tip over because you're going to potentially put a lot of weight on them. the vertical pieces and then this piece slides down into it and is adjustable so those are your basic pieces so here's the box of bolts adjusting bolts. Just put them back into the box to keep everything separate. Now there are no instructions I see, but um, looking at the box you can pretty much, I think, figure out how they go together. Okay, here's the finished and one I put together I'm going to show you how to put the other one together it's pretty simple and this is going to go here somewhere and I'll adjust the height so when I'm lifting these weights if I can't get them back up to there then <clears throat> I can drop them down to here and keep them from falling on the floor or crushing me because there's approximately 125 pounds there and I'm 71 years old this is the bottom piece and you have these four series of boots simply press on
like so. They're a nice rubberized material. With some slots on the bottom for traction. Pushing down as far as you can, and you can <clears throat> even turn it upside down and tap them, put some weight on them to get them in. On all the way. I'll go ahead and do the other two. Okay, now we're ready for the vertical piece. Goes on like so. And we have two bolts, long bolts, about two inches long, and two washers for each side. It's a total of four, and one nut, and this has a uh, plastic insert. Making, making it a locking nut so it can't uh, wiggle out over time from the flexing of the material. <clears throat> and this goes on the top. So these go underneath. And I'm just using a ratchet socket. And it's... Um, 17 millimeters in the crescent wrench. So, inserted the bolts underneath for the gasket, or washer, I should say, and then one on top. And I'll Hold the bottom with the crescent wrench and then tighten it on with the socket set. So I've got this one tightened. I just have to tighten the other one and then I'll have this assembled. There it is. Um, we want the nut so the with the uh, blue locking plastic piece on top. You can see it's locked, so it can't jiggle and come loose. Here's the vertical piece. Just going to insert it. Put this metal piece in. I don't know if it matters which way it goes exactly. And going like that, then we screw in this adjusting knob. And adjust this all the way up to this height, which I think is about thirty six inches. And 
that's all there is to it. So we'll try them out next. Okay, here's the final setup for my uh, spotters. You have to experiment with them on what works for you. Here's my channel. I have lots of playlists. I'll show you here. Um, I do solar systems. I have some spirituality, um, John Deere, more videos, getting rid of pests in the lawn, um, Nordic track repairs, computer repairs and reviews of purchases like this laptop I'm showing this video on, review of my Generac power washer and use of it, other power equipment that I get, uh, wood projects, I built a nice um, center here for the TV and so forth. Um, I have landscape lights, refrigerator repairs, generator hookup and maintenance, and then other interior electrical wiring and so forth projects, also lawn projects, so um, lawn equipment and so forth. So uh, if you're interested, um, click on the bell and subscribe and give me any comments on any other type of videos you'd like to see also. This is Old John signing out.